Hello fourth graders and welcome to another week of distance learning. This is what's going on this week. So when I look at this schedule, one thing that is starting this week is small group learning during SOAR time. If you received a communication from either Miss Jerry or myself about your child learning in a small group during SOAR time, that will begin on Monday. If you did not receive communication about your child being in a small group, that means they will just be working independently on their classroom assignments at that time. Another change to the schedule is office hours. Um, since kids are really getting the hang of how we're doing this, we're going to cut back on office hours. On Monday, Miss Jerry will be available 2.45 to 3.15. Any fourth grader can log in using her class code, meet with Miss Jerry and ask for help. And on Wednesday, I will be available at that time and any fourth grader can log in and ask for help. We have um, access to each other's Seesaw classes, so we should be able to log in and help students with, with whatever they need. And we'll also show students how to access their Gmail accounts so they can ask questions outside of office hours. Um, for your assignments this week, it's all pretty much the same, no big changes from what we've been doing. We will now consistently do science. So let me show you what science looks like because that's something new in Seesaw. Um, there will always be a link to the Mystery Science website and you'll need to look at which part of the link to search for. So this activity on Monday says watch the hands-on activity part of the link. So I'm going to click on that to get to Mystery Science and then when you look at the bottom of the image you'll find the section you need. Now it says 30 minutes next to that. It is not a 30 minute video or a 30 minute activity. Um, I think it just means it's 30 minutes into the entire lesson. So it's not that long. And when you get there, you'll follow the steps of exactly what to do. You'll label your OWL worksheet that's in your science packet. And then you're gonna get to the part that says, move into small groups and have a discussion. You can't do that on your own. So just know when you get to that part, we will finish it up the next day in our whole class lesson. So just complete the part that goes up until move into a small group and have a discussion. And we will complete that part together the following day. Oh, that's how science will work. Another change is that we now have access to Typing Club the paid version without all the ads. And so if a student finishes early, they should log into Alexia Core 5 or Typing Club, and both of those can be found in Clever. Also this week, we have um, packet pickup on Friday. There is no school, it's a statewide in-service day for teachers, but please stop by Ellie or Miles' house to pick up your next packet. And something else new we have this week is um, books will be available for checkout. So on Friday or Saturday, you can pick your day, you can stop by Armand and Payam's front porch and pick up a book from our classroom libraries. There are 150 different books available. I pulled out all types of reading levels. Um, they are either realistic fiction or fantasy because that is the unit of study we're doing in literacy. Um, yeah, these books have just been collecting dust in room 206, so please come and take them. Um, for any fourth grader, both classes, the, enough books are available, and there are some safety protocols posted on their porch about wearing a mask, using hand sanitizer, and giving space. So we're hoping to do that every couple of weeks so that we can continue to access the fabulous books we have that have just been sitting in Irvington. Okay, so I think that's all for this week and have a great week and we'll see you on Monday.